Minister of Health has launched a regional mosquito net distribution campaign on the theme chasing malaria out of households. The Director General at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Henry Mwebaso, says only three districts are still having high malaria burden. I don't want just to emphasize nets, but it is a comprehensive package. Use the net properly, uh, drain the stagnant water, clear the bushes, but also if a child falls sick, you rush quickly to the health center and make sure you start early treatment. Deputy Prime Minister of Toro Kingdom, Harriet Nyakake, rallied the people of Toro Kingdom to live a healthy life and always abstain from unprotected sex as the region is topping in the HIV burden in the country. The negative effects of malaria to the communities in Toro cannot be overemphasized. As we are here, we have all been affected by malaria in different ways, including loss of, loss of valuable lives. The king has directed his cabinet, the entire kingdom structure at county and community level to join this fight against malaria. Go to regional front hospital to do in uh, orthopedic surgery. We have to go to Kilembe, and the one of Kilembe also retired, is just helping us on Barara. And now when we're going to host AFCON, and we don't have an orthopedic surgeon, it's going to be one of the issues that will deter us from hosting AFCON. So that is our request. The third wave 2023 campaign under the National Malaria Control Division at the Ministry of Health procured 28.8 million long-lasting insecticide-treated mosquito nets to be distributed to the population of 46.8 million people in 9.4 million households by the end of the campaign. Funding and implementing partners in the fight against malaria call upon the government to build a net culture among the population to prevent malaria in all major parts of Uganda. Recently, as WHO, pre-qualified a new malaria vaccine, making two pre-qualified malaria vaccines. And I hope that Uganda will add these tools among control intervention uh, soon. Let's for, let this intervention be accessible. Let them reach the poor, the underprivileged, those living in hard-to-reach areas. Preventing malaria is in your hand. I want to repeat that. Preventing malaria is in your hand. If the kids said that, all future secure. According to the district health officer, Fort Porto City noted that malaria is the second cause of morbidity in the region, counting to 19% of the population and 14% in the under fives. Uh, when you look at our data for 2022-2023, malaria in Fort Porto City remains a very big challenge as the second commonest cause of morbidity. When you look at people attending uh, in the general population, OPD, general population, but then also under fives. Is still the second uh, commonest cause of uh, OPD attendance. Minister of Health progress report on the long lasting insecticide treated mosquito nets 2023 indicate 15 million long lasting insecticide treated nets have been distributed, and 79 out of the 146 designated districts and cities have received nets, a 54.1% coverage. Zahra Abigaba, UBC News. Please.